Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will look at the remove all occurrences of a string problem which is from lead code number 1910. A prerequisite before this is to watch my video on the KMP pattern matching algorithm and you can also consider solving the rotate string problem from lead code number 796 after having solved this problem. Both the links will be in the description below. Now I assume that you have watched my KMP pattern matching algorithm. So let's now read the problem statement. In this problem, given two strings S and part, perform the following operation on S until all occurrences of the substring part are removed. Find the leftmost occurrence of the substring part and remove it from S. Return S after removing all occurrences of the part. A substring is a contiguous sequence of characters in a string. Now if you take the example of S and part, then I have already written uh, the string S here. We can parse from left to right and try to find the pattern ABC in this string. If you try to find the pattern, you will find from 2 to 4 and 7 to 9. So we can simply remove it. Now if you remove these patterns, then you will get the string DA, BA, BC, right? Now again there is an ABC occurring here so we cannot just say that after one time parsing uh, we can get rid of all the patterns. So maybe I have to do a second time parsing as well and again I will be removing this ABC and so finally I will be getting DAB. But how do I make sure that uh, this is the final result again we have to perform a parsing and we have to find the pattern ABC. Now I will not be able to find the pattern in the third parse and that is how I know that there is no more occurrence of the pattern in the given string. So the method which I used was we need to keep on parsing one time after another until the ith time parsing is not finding the pattern in the given text. Okay. So that is the process and you know that by KMP algorithm if you simply parse then you will do pattern matching in order of m plus n time where m is the size of the string and n is the size of the pattern right but if you are repeating it for let's say m number of times or n number of times then you have to multiply it so many times so i think this part is clear now let's see what are the constraint in this case the length of the uh, first string that means m is less than equals to 1000 and n is less than equals to 1000 so if we write an n, m plus n algorithm it will comfortably pass and even if you multiply by it a factor of n it may pass uh, but we have to do better and we have to solve it in order of m plus n time. Now let's look at some of the ideas before we actually solve the problem. So in this case if the given string is a simple one where we do not have to parse multiple times then in this case I can just parse it one time and try to find the pattern remove all the occurrences of the pattern and i will get to the result ax yb in just a single parse and it will be correct and the time complexity is order of m plus n so this is a simple test case but if i increase the complexity of test case then you will find that in the first parse i will be able to remove this double a double b and this double a double b and when you remove these two parts then you see that the double A on the left side and the double B on the right side will come together, will slide together and form double A double B which now becomes a new candidate to be removed because this matches the pattern. And the same thing is happening for this 11 to 13 and this B as well. They will come together and they will form double A double B and they become the new candidate to be removed, isn't it? So the thing is uh, whenever we remove a string of let's say length n then maybe some part of it on the left side and some part of it on the right side will come together and form a string of length n which is also matching with the pattern now why i am saying that some part will be on the left side and some part on the on the right side let's say that all of it was on the left side and it was uh, double a double b on the left side of this double a double b then in the same parse actually we will be able to find this double a double b so it will be removed along with this one right that is why if it has to actually hide itself and it has to occur only after removal of a certain pattern then a, a given pattern double a double b must be partitioned in such a way that 
one part is on the left side one part is on the right side and in between you have the pattern right you have the pattern right so what can be the worst case scenario here well the part one can have any number of characters part two can have any number of characters i will try to take uh, the maximum imbalance and so i will take n minus one items on the left side one item on the right side or you can take n minus one items on the right and one item on the left okay so once i am removing this let's say i will be at index number 12 when i have when i'm doing pattern matching of double a double b with the text then i will keep on matching this a a b b and then i will stop at this index number 12 because that is where i will go out of bound in the pattern right so once i'm done with that i know i have to remove from 8 to 11. now if you want to optimally solve this problem if you are at this let's say 18 and if you want to optimally solve this problem then after removing this i don't want to again go back to uh, index number zero and again restart parsing but instead of that if you already know about this property very important property that maximum n minus one items will be on the left side then i can optimally decide that from a given index i i can just subtract the length of the pattern two times so what is the length of the pattern it is four so 18 minus 2 times of 4 can be subtracted and i can find the optimal position to go and again restart my pattern matching okay you could have done i minus 2 n minus 1 and that would have been fine because you know that there are n minus 1 items on the left side but just to simplify the process and just to maintain a little bit more safety i will be writing i minus 2 n so instead of going again to 0 it would be better that if I just go to 10 and again match it for an existing merge and formation of a new pattern. Okay. So this is one case. Another case is if you are parsing from left to right and you will be at 7 when you actually find this double A double B and you will try to remove it. But where to go on the left side? According to our idea, we should go to I minus 2N. So I is already 7 and 2 times of N will be 8. So we will be going to index minus one, which is actually out of bound. So whenever you see that we are going out of bound, then you have to actually balance it and make it zero. So in order to balance it so that you don't get a segmentation fault, you have to take the maximum of actually I minus two and comma zero. So whichever is maximum you take that because I want to go to the left hand side least number of steps which gives me correct answer right and that least number of steps can be i minus 2 and or 0 0 is there to maintain the safety so that you don't go out of bound right so we need to come back to a potential new match start position and that start position i will be equals to the uh, the maximum of 0 comma i minus 2 and so i hope this point is pretty clear now before starting our uh, pattern matching we will be just recapping our building the lps so in this particular example this was our pattern or you can say the part and that is double a double b if you remember the lps building then lps of zero will always be zero because the longest prefix which is also a suffix and we are talking about proper prefix and suffixes will be zero here now i will take an i pointer on the left j pointer on the right and match this i with j if they are matching write i plus one here that means one zero plus one is one and move both i and j now when you have moved again match i and j if they are not matching look at lps at i minus one it is saying index zero so move i to index zero now match zero with uh, two this a and b are not matching so this i is already at zero so i cannot move anymore to the left so move this j to the right but before doing that we put here zero and move it to the right now again match this a with b and it is not matching therefore again i cannot move to the left so put a zero here and j will move to the right and we stop so this will be the lps array for the given pattern double a double b now let's do a dry run of our entire idea so let's say we, our given string is having 19 characters and the given pattern is double a double b so we will be simply applying the kmp pattern matching algorithm so in this particular case i will be starting i uh, with the index zero on the string and j with the 
index 0 in the pattern. If you match this X and A, they are not matching. They are not matching. So what should I do? Again, J is already at 0, so J cannot move to the left. So I will move to the right. Match this A with A. They are matching. So move both of them to the right. Match this A with A. They are matching. Move both of them to the right. So now B and A are not matching. So where should this J go? This J will look at LPS at J minus 1, which is 1. So LPS at 1 is showing 1. So go back to index 1. Okay, now J will come back to index 1. Match this A with this A. It is matching. Now you will be going to B. Match this B with this A. This is not matching. So again, uh, you will be looking at LPS at J minus 1. The LPS array helps to move back to an optimal matching position, right? So in this case, uh, the B is giving that, okay, LPS at 1 is 1. So move to this one. This is J. Now again match this A with A matching. This B with B matching. This B with this B matching. And now you are out of bound. So as soon as you reach out of bound, this means that you have matched the previous N characters. That means from 3 to 6, there is a match, right? If there is a match, then you have to remove all those and you have to readjust your pointer, right? So before forming the new string, first you have to readjust the pointer. So that will be maximum of 0 comma i minus 2n. And in this case, it will be 0 because 2n value is 2 times of 4, which is 8. 7 minus 8 will be minus 1. So reset your i value to 0th index. And then this string will be formed as string equals take the previous slice and take this slice entirely by using the substring function and then concatenate them so if you do that then you will be uh, getting the string number one right now once you have done this again you repeat the process again find the pattern and you will be stopping at this y so this is at index 5 now how do you readjust your pointer it will be the maximum of 0 comma 5 minus 2 n so it will again come out to be 0 so you are readjusting to 0 and you will take this slice and this slice here and uh, by using the substring function definitely and then use the concatenation to actually append them one after the other and you will get string number two here right it is the same string variable i have just uh, named it differently to differentiate between the states again you will restart whenever a match happens move the j pointer always to zero because i want to restart my matching and if you restart matching then you will stop at this index 10 where you have matched this pattern right so readjust your pointer to 10 minus 8 which will be 2 so you have readjusted your i pointer to 2 and you will remove this so take this slice on the left and this slice on the right and actually uh, append them together so you get string number 3 again you uh, do the same process so you will be stopping at this index 7 adjust your i pointer it will be reaching to this index number 0 max of 0 comma 7 minus 8 will be 0 right and then uh, you take this slice and there is no slice to the right hand side so you have x y p again if you repeat the process here then you will not be able to find any of the pattern and that is why x y p is the final answer for this particular input so i hope you were able to understand this if you are thinking that we are again and again going back and trying to match then we are actually optimally going back and checking just maximum n more items right and that's it we are not checking any more items so if the pattern matches then we will remove it if the pattern do not match then i can again come back if the next pattern is matching right so this entire process will take uh, the time complexity order of m plus n and the space complexity will be order of n where m is the string length n is the part length let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code you will see the calculate lps is just the calculation part of the lps that i had implemented in the kmp algorithm so you can just have a look at it 
and uh, the main function here is the remove occurrences where we are given the string and the uh, part so i will find the size of the part and build the lps using the calculate lps and after that i will be removing all the substring and uh, once every substring has been removed uh, then we will be returning the result okay so let's now look at the function of remove substring so in this case we are given the string the pattern the lps so finding the size of the string pattern and then setting up the inj pointer in the string and the pattern right and this is the same code as the lps whenever the ith and the jth value actually matched then we will do i plus plus and j plus plus that is what is done here and uh, at this particular point if we have actually matched the entire pattern then you know that if i have matched the entire pattern the j will be going out of bound j will be going out of bound right so if j equals equals n then we have found the pattern match and so i will be taking a slice of s dot substring 0 to i minus n plus s dot substring everything from i and then we will be updating the size of the entire string because after removal the size of the string will change right so we have to change the size as well and this i updation is happening so that i will optimally move to the left hand side so as to again match optimally if there is any uh, i mean combination of a new pattern a new pattern is formed after removing somebody in the middle so this adjustment is done for it and then the j will be made as zero because once the pattern has matched then you know that i again i want to find a pattern so j will again come back to index zero so as to find a new pattern okay now if the ith and jth character did not match and if j is actually at zero then j cannot move anymore to the left so i will move to the right but if j is at an index greater than zero then we will look at lps at j minus one and j will be updated to that value okay so this is the entire kmp concept and uh, this will be very clear if you have watched my kmp video if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you